Glue, 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 glue. It's the gluing song. It's the gluing song. It's not very long, because it's the gluing song. Hi, I'm Daniel. Hi, I'm Zach. And today's video is all about the projects. We've done the pins and we've done the parks. Well, and... we, ha we haven't done the parks. We've, we've been to the parks, but you guys haven't seen a park video yet. <laughs> okay. But that's coming soon, maybe. <laughs> so we've done the pins, we've done the parks, but haven't done a video. And today we're going to do the projects. Um, we're going to start with some really basic DIY projects, uh, taking one of our existing pin boards and trying to make it a little bit more exciting and going to make a smaller pin board themed around a particular character um, to display a subsection of some of our pins or my pins in this case. Um, These are two really simple projects that you could do yourself or not. There's nothing wrong with corkboard, but sometimes you might want the pins to pop a little bit more. So these are two extremely simple projects. So we're going to, like like we said, we're going to start out really simple. Um, in the future, we'll probably have some more that are a little more elaborate, but, you know. Got to start somewhere. Right? Yes. All right. Uh, all of the instructions for this will be found at our website, which is linked down below in the doobly-doo. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at an existing pin board. This is one that we have had. It's missing from up there on the wall. Um, and it's a fine looking pin board. It's a 12 by 12 piece of cork that we got off of Amazon. We put it inside a shadow box and it works for the most part to display our pins. But some of these pins are pretty uh, detailed like this uh, Aurora pen, this Christmas pen, uh, even the Maleficent pen here. And we kind of want it to pop a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna take a piece of felt in this case, a piece of black felt. We're actually going to line the inside of this pin board with black felt and then put the pins back on and see if that helps them to pop at all. So the first thing we're gonna do is take all the pins off of this and then, uh, then we'll start with a blank slate. All right, blank pin board, now let's take it out. Now that we have the cork board out, what we're going to do is take our piece of felt and mark on it where it is that we want to cut it. So let's let's put the felt down first. We're going to put the cork up to the edge here, as close as we can get it to the edge. I guess I don't need both pieces here. There. And then we're going to cut straight down this line right here. Now, that line that I just made there is going to be really hard for you to see, but I think I can see it here enough to do this. Fortunately, the edges here go into the frame. So if we're not right on the money, eh, it'll, it, it'll be close enough. All right, now we're going to take our piece of cork. We're going to put our black piece of felt over the top of our piece of cork and make sure that it fits. Pardon my cat hair on this felt here. So, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some regular Elmer's glue and uh, give this cork a nice little area to stick on. So we want to do all the edges. And maybe a nice little smiley face in here. Just trying to fill in some areas. All right, now we're gonna take our felt, put it on top. This is Elmer's glue, so it's not going to set up immediately. So it's okay to kind of slide it around on there. The important part on this step is just to make sure that it's nice and flat.
Okay. We're going to let that dry for a little bit, ideally. And in this case, I'm not going to let it dry so that we can go ahead and move on. But we're going to put this all back into our shadow box and make sure that everything looks good from the front. So with our piece of felt on here, we're going to go into the shadow box. And then we're just going to check it on the front to make sure that that looks all right. It looks a little loose up there. I think we can fix it there. By the way, this is just an old Amazon box cut up here just to give it a little bit of padding in the back so that the... It's like a jigsaw puzzle, though. Let's see. That piece, that piece, this piece... I don't even know what this piece is for anymore. What are you for? Where do you belong? Go back to your people. Okay, and let's put this back on. Now what we have, and you'll see this is why you should let the glue dry first and not be impatient like me, but we have a nice black setting there for our pins. So now when we put our pins on the board, they should stand out a little bit more. I totally don't remember how he had these pins set up. I'm just going to put them back on kind of haphazardly. I think Maleficent was up in this area over here, wasn't she? I'm pretty sure she was. Let's put her there. I know this console was over here. Now you can see what I was trying to avoid here, which is this bubble of felt right there. Again, I will probably come back and glue this later just to, to but I just want to go ahead and see how it's going to look. Pin trading on here. We've got our Wally pin over here. I think he did the corners with the dates. So there was a 2018 there. I think there's a 2019 on the top right-hand side. Of course, I'm doing all this. I actually have a picture of this board that I can look at, but I'm being incredibly lazy right now. I'm going to put this guy here, this very Merry Christmas pin here. President's Day here. Cubs over here. Orange Bird. 2017 in the top right left like I said left I know my right from my left what are you implying five-legged goat and finally our orange bird which I believe was right here now obviously this is not the layout that I had before I put the black on. But I think it actually looks a little bit nicer, doesn't it, don't you think? It's like the, the pins pop a little bit more. They're not being lost inside the cork uh, kind of area there. Uh, go up on the wall, it'll probably look a little bit better. In fact, let's try that. There. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think that looks better or whether the cork looks better. Not really sure which way. Okay, for our second project, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of Zach's figment pens and we're going to put them onto a smaller board by themselves. So what we did was we went out to Michael's Crafts, which is our, our local craft stores, and we picked up a two-pack of these 9 by 12 inch frames. I want to say on sale it was like... 16 less than $16 for the two of them. So seven or $8 for each frame might have even been less than that. Um, and then we also picked up this tiny piece of purple felt, which is a figment color felt. So we picked up that for under 50 cents. It was like 45 cents or something like that. Um, 
that's what we're going to use as the basis here. So basically the concept here is we're going to make the inside of this frame this nice royal purple so that we can put figment on it. Um, it doesn't have enough figment pins to cover the whole thing, and quite frankly, that might be kind of a boring looking thing. So what we did is during the Festival of the Arts, we found this uh, figment postcard, which was part of an art set that we bought there. Um, this is, and I said, we're going to set this guy over to the side and then have the figment pins along the edge. That's kind of the concept of what we're going to do right here real quick. Again, we don't need any scissors for that. I don't know why I said again. I didn't say it the first time. <laughs> you don't need any scissors for this. All we're going to need is just some some handy dandy glue and uh, our hands. Uh, I, I, this is another postcard I bought in the store just the other day at Disney Hollywood Studios. They're, they run $4.99. Um, so they're super cheap. They sell them all around the park. Uh, I don't know that you could find a specific figment one, but maybe you're not going for a figment board. So any kind of a postcard really would work for this. You could also uh, take a five by seven photo of yourself in front of, uh, you know, Journey into Imagination or in front of the figment topiary or something like that. Uh, in fact, uh, see, so yeah, I took a picture of Zach in front of the figment topiary, and that looks like this. So I could, if I wanted to, go down to my local photo printing place, print that out on glossy photo paper, and, and use that instead. So first, let's undo this uh, frame here, and let's just take everything out of it. And because this is a pin board, and we're going to be sticking pins in it, we don't really need the, the plexiglass or, or whatnot, so we can just be done with that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside and bring these things over here. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this guy here and make sure it's face. I don't know why it matters whether it's facing up or not. That's kind of a really silly thing for me to worry about, isn't it? Yeah. I keep looking up above the camera. Oh, anyway, it's not important. Let's do some glue. Glue, 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 glue. Glue, 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 glue. It's the gluing song. It's the gluing song. It's not very long, because it's the gluing song. Okay. Uh, gluing song. Now I have glue on my hand. What do you do when you have glue on your hands? What do you do? Do you... Ah! A bit of, a bit of leftover felt from the last project. Let's just use that. Okay. Felt goes on. And again, for optimal results, you're probably going to want to let this dry for several hours before you do anything with it. But because um, it's the Saturday before I'm supposed to release this video, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually just go ahead and use it as is and fix it later, as it were. So let's put this guy in its frame. And there we go. We have a nice blank slate to work with here. So we're going to put this guy here, kind of eyeball it to make it kind of centered off to the side there. I don't really want to glue this because we might want to take it off and go with a smaller picture as it gets more pins. Uh, maybe we might want to move it onto a bigger board if it gets more pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, some of that sticky tacky stuff. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? It's in the other room. I'll be right back. Ta-da! Look, it's the sticky tacky stuff that you didn't know what I was talking about. What is this called? It's called removable mounting putty, which sounds far, far worse than what it actually is. Basically, it's like little clay kind of things, but what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch off. Wow! We're not going to pinch off. There we go. We're going to pinch off this tiny little bit. We're going to flip this guy over, and then we're just going to give him a little bit of stickiness in the tops. In fact, I'm going to move this off so I can do this down here. All right. I think that will hold him securely onto this board. Let's take the board back. Let's put our guy, kind of eyeball him here, somewhere around in there. That seems to pass the holding test, so that's that's being held there. So now all we need are some figment pens, and we're ready to go. So grab some. 
He has a few more, but these are definitely the best of the bunch here. So let's let's start with our Flower and Garden Festival pin up here. We'll just pop him down right here. Nice topiary pin up here with a guaranteed figment, authentic figment right there. Dreamfinder there. This guy right here. And there we go. Oh, actually, we got plenty of room. Let's grab more. Do you guys remember this pen at all? This was the, where can I send this? I think I can send this here. Um, that was from the 2018 Festival of the Arts. Yeah, because we just had 2019 and they didn't have these there. So this was a, a pen that you could buy then, back in 2018 Festival of the Arts, which is really cool. I, I, I like that pen a lot. Let's see if we can get him just so that this Festival of the Arts dangle hits right there. Do that. Got this spaceship earth pen right here. Got this guy right here. Got this guy right here. And this guy. And there we go, a nice little figment board to add to our collection. So those are our two incredibly simple DIY projects that you can do yourself. The black felt on the pin board and the smaller, more character specific, bright and colorful pin board like this figment one here. I think it turned out pretty good. Do you? Yes. I think the only problem I really have with this is that the the frame is probably too shallow. We weren't able to put in like a foam or a cork backing there. So I think maybe we'll look for some frames that are a little bit deeper. If you have any suggestions for frames that are, are deep enough to put in foam or cork that are in this size, a 9 by 12, let us know down in the comments. That aren't, you know, super expensive. <laughs> right. So that's pretty much it for this week. So, hey, if you like what we do here on this channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Leave a comment telling us what you like, what you didn't like. And uh, until next week. Oh, we give a thumbs up to you. You forgot to do the little thumbs up game. Uh -huh. Anyway, till next week. We'll see you real soon.